Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about the capabilities of TES software or in the new version they refer to as Education Pack. You can access TES software if you go to the computer lab and then type TES, it brings up the older version or in the newer version if it's under Grand Talk, you would have access to the software. So depending on the version that you use, uh, it might be a little bit different but you have different levels from level one to level three. I'm going to select level three, which is the most advanced one. So it has all the material that, that you need. Sometimes you want to uh, stick with level one because you don't want to be overwhelmed with the number of material that you are dealing with. You just want to select the general category of material. So here it has different categories. If you know what category you want, you can directly click on that or you could go to the all materials. So here you have level three, you could change that at any time. The material universe, you have the process universe that deals with manufacturing process, references, shapes, and, and so forth. But let's just stick to the material universe. Let's say I want to find the properties of a composite. My research is about composite materials and I use this software very often to find the property that I want. Um, uh, for hybrid composite foams, I go to composite. I deal with polymer matrix composite materials, epoxy, the matrix phase that is very strong. I want to find a carbon fiber. I want it to be unidirectional, the fiber is in the one direction, and then I want it to be unidirectional layout. So if I click on it, I will get all the mechanical and other material properties uh, in, in general. You can see there is a range, which means that there is a minimum and maximum. So you could get the average value and also you need to pay attention to the range. If the range is uh, wider spread, that means that we don't have any, we don't have strong reliability on, on the result. So you could look up the material that you want, material property that you want. But here I want to bring your attention to these links at the end. So these links are very helpful because when I select my material, I want to know what ma manufacturing process I can choose. So I can click on the link and it takes me to the process universe and it tells me what manufacturing process I can use for that particular material. So there is a link between the process and the material in, in the software, which is very helpful. So I know that the composite forming, I have these options for the unidirectional material uh, that I chose. Uh, so here you could go to, let's alternatively to process universe and then go to shaping, see what kind of molding that you need. If you need uh, polymer extrusion, thermoforming, transfer molding, and then find the information. Uh, that you want from, from the manufacturing process. Also, you could search if we go to, let's say, Material Universe, you know, level three, there is a search link here that you could search the material that you need. So ABS, if you don't know whether that ABS is a polymer, thermoset, thermoplast, you could just simply search uh, the material. You see there are 105 material associated with ABS. If I change the level, I said, oh, level three is overwhelming. I want to deal with level one. And I search ABS again and press enter. I only find two. So you might need to go to level one for some project that you just want to find uh, general information. Well, let's go back to level three, which we have all of the material that we need. And let's go to the home. Uh, go all materials. Here we have chart select. So uh, we use that a lot when you're gonna narrow down our selection. You have three options of chart, index, limit, and tree. I'm gonna go over all of them. The first one is if you wanna plot the material properties. You see you have X axis, Y axis. What do you want your Y axis to be? I want to be elastic modular. So I have to go to general category of mechanical properties and then here, young modulus or elastic modulus. I, want, I leave it at logarithmic and auto escape. For my X axis, I always like to plot my uh, um, properties against density. Density is not a mechanical property, but a physical property. So I go here and select density. Now I can plot it. 
So here you see all the materials. They're not labeled, but you could click on them and then find a label. Or you could just delete the label if you don't want your figure to be crowded. So I could use uh, a line. Here the slope, let's say the slope is two. So I'm gonna maximize the index. You have the, mid, you have the option of minimizing the index and, and so forth. Maximizing the index, I'm gonna draw a line here. And as I move the line, you could see the number of material choices are reduced. I could be very strict about it and then go up here and only 11 materials would be available. And you, I could change the slope. Uh, here was plotting. I could do limit as well and saying that, okay, for my, I can limit the mechanical properties. If you have any specific young modulus for minimum that you have in mind or maximum, you could plug in the values. You don't have to fill out everything. Let's say you have thermal properties. I want a material to have high melting temperature. So at least 3000 uh, centigrade degree would be the minimum melting temperature. And I need to click apply. If you pay attention to the result here, you would see the significantly reduced because I'm narrowing down my material choice. I want to find a material that I really want. Now these materials are satisfying both requirements. So the third option that I want to talk about is tree. Tree is that I have a specific material or process in mind. I want to have, let's say, composite category. I don't want to choose material from other categories. So I just select that, insert, I say, okay. So now I have only four options. So all these materials are satisfying all these three options. And I can choose whether they have to pass all the stages or only one of the stages. Or the part that I like is the pass and pay table. I have three requirements. So it will tell me the material one, this material is satisfying the first entry, but not the second. The second one was the melting point. And you could have as many stages as uh, you want. Let's add another stage. Let's go to the chart. Here, I want to go a little bit more advanced. So I click advanced. I have to choose my attributes. I go to the mechanical properties. Let's say I'm interested in uh, tensile strength. Insert it, but not linear. Tensile strength to the power of two. Divide it by shear modulus. I insert it again to the power of three. I click OK. That would be my Y axis. X axis, again, you could choose anything. Uh, I usually choose it uh, density. That would be tensile strength, the Y axis to the power of two divided by shear modulus to the power of three as function of density. And you could again have your line, slope of one, let's say, and then, and these. Colored one means that they satisfy all our condition. Now we have four stages and only two materials meet all our criteria. So that would be your desirable material. And sometimes this, you could remove some of the stages and say, oh, melting point doesn't matter. I want to see what I get if I remove that one. And this would be your choice of material. Uh, the other feature that I want you to know is that if you go to tools, settings, uh, you would get the unit system. So you could change the unit from uh, different uh, value. I usually use SI, which is needed for all publications and presentation. So we're gonna stick with uh, SI. So you can see it's a very powerful uh, software to um, narrow down your material selection. Different versions of the software, again, are slightly different. So some of the features might be different depending on what you are gonna use. But in general, um, that it's, it's not like ANSYS or MATLAB that you get an error. You just, you need to click around to see what you get. And here are the different stages. But if I want to move from one to another, I can go into it or I can remove them. Uh, if I want to clean up uh, my uh, software here. And these plots are very powerful if you, include them in your presentation, your senior design presentation, in your report, 
because it tells the audience or the reader that you have done your homework, you have done your research, and when you're saying that the aluminum 6000 is the best material for the job, you have actually gone through all the process. You have considered uh, more than 4,000 materials, and these are the best ones for your application.